Hello everybody. Once again, I am here with you for the another part of this uh, logic gates, and uh, in which today we will see what is exactly the Boolean algebra and laws related to the Boolean algebra. Actually, it is the practice where the uh, algebraic uh, trigonometric relationships uh, relationships are going to be implemented in the logic circuit, and this is what the Shannon has done basically to uh, convert this form uh, in 1938 what he published in his paper so to understand this boolean algebra the first time the shiron <coughs> introduced uh, in his paper a systematic uh, analysis of uh, uh, basically uh, relay uh, switching is to be there in 19 uh, relay circuit in 1938 and uh, for to get the calculations related the boolean algebras the there are basically three operators are to be used and uh, uh, which already the logic gates we already used in the uh, uh, circuitry and the same operators are to be there and the first one is to be the logic operators the first one is to be the and operator where this and operator is nothing but to be as good as uh, multiplication as we know that AND gate is also to be working in the same fashion and uh, this AND operator is noted with the dot or it is as good as simply we called as a multiplication is to be there and uh, as far as the two inputs are to be there for the AND operator the whatever be the output for the two variables are to be there that is shown in this truth table that is uh, if you look at this case where these are the two variables a and the b is to be there and the c is nothing but to be as an result a dot b or the we can say not dot here as an operator and we can say that means we can pronounce it as a a and b is to be there so as far as the two inputs are there the number of probabilities of the inputs are 4 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 is to be there so 0 and 0 will be definitely 0 because 0 into 0 is always 0 0 and 1 that is 0 into 1 that is also 0 similarly 1 and 0 that is 1 into 0 it is also giving us to be as an 0 but 1 and 1 that is 1 into 1 that is always to be as a 1 is to be there so if you look at our uh, in the previous uh, session basic operations of or, uh, or the logic gates we learn hand logic gate it is uh, similarly as an and operator is to be there when the, all the inputs are high output is going to be high that means one one uh, input output is one otherwise it is zero so this is what the and operator in the same way there is the another uh, operator which is called as the OR operator which is uh, here called as an addition and for the addition we know when the two inputs it works as this OR operator is uh, noted with the addition plus sign and uh, uh, this uh, plus sign is indicating of, uh, OR operation is to be there or the OR operator is to be there and uh, again when the two inputs are to be there A and B the output will be here with the C given as a A or B that means A plus B is to be there. <coughs> no doubt or <coughs> gate excuse me or gate is nothing but to be when any of the input is high output is going to be high and two inputs are there uh, therefore uh, input uh, probabilities are 4 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 is to be there and uh, for this or operator the addition is going to be there 0 plus 0 it is 0 0 plus 1 it is 1 1 plus 0 it is 1 again it is 1 plus 1 it is 1 is to be there so in this case the or operator is to be as good as your uh, or logic gates basic gate is to be there so that's why the output is going to be in this form or the basically truth table showing addition is going to be there as far as two inputs are going to be concerned so this is what the or operator is to be there and the last one is to be our known one that is the not operator is to be there that is complement uh, it gives uh, output as a inverted or the complement output is to be there 
if the one is the input it will give output to be as n0 and that means if a is to be the input output will be a complement or that is even with the one and as far as the a is to be the one is to be the input output will be one's complement uh, complement is to be there that is to be zero it is what somehow giving us the complement uh, whatever be the input is to be there the complement of that will be the output for that uh, operator and here it is uh, uh, noted with this case as an bar <coughs> if you look at this uh, implementation or the somehow shown here the not operator in the form of a bar the complement is nothing but to be shown with the bar whatever the alpha variable is to be there there will be a complement bar is to be given in that fashion so here are the few laws which are now we are moving forward to the boolean algebra laws and what are the exactly laws with this laws these total operations are going to be based on. now these laws are nothing but to be somehow trigonometric relationships uh, we already learned in the uh, 10th up to 10th standard but there are specifically this and laws and the or laws are to be there it is distributed in that fashion so what happens exactly in this case if suppose any variable we have taken into account and the first law according to that it is written as in this fashion that is a and 0 is always 0 now for the and operation i am noted with the dot and uh, i am pronouncing it as a and because dot is nothing but to be showing us the operation is whatever the operation is to be there that is and operation or and is nothing but to be multiplication is to be there going on so wherever we can say any variable into zero that always to be as a zero we have we know that and that's why first law which is a and zero is always zero either here a is zero zero into zero it is zero or either a is supposed to be one if a is also going to be one value zero or one the probability for the one um, variable and 1 into 0 that will be also 0 means any case either a is 0 or either a is 1 the result will be same that is to be 0 and that's why a and 0 is always 0 now here is the second law or the rule we can say that is a and 1 is always a anything into a that is uh, anything into 1 that is always remains the same answer is to be there so that will not affect to the whatever be the input is to be there that's why if suppose a is suppose here in this case is 0 0 into 1 that is 0 output will be there and if suppose this one uh, a is having the input 1 that is a is having the value supposed to be 1 then 1 into 1 that is 1 what it indicating whatever the value i am putting means suppose when i am putting the value 0 what i am getting 0 into 1 that is output is 0 means if when i am putting the 0 input i am getting the output to be as a 0 when i am putting the value a is to be 1 that is 1 then at that time for this 1 into 1 the output will be 1 that means i am getting the answer the same whatever the input a variable is to be there and that's why it is written that a and 1 is always a either a is 0 the output will be definitely 0 either a will be value 1 definitely output value will be 1 and that's why this rule number 2 is nothing but to be a and 1 is always a <coughs> rule number third that is a and a is always to be a suppose a is having the value 0 0 means a is having value 0 for this also it is to be 0 0 into 0 it is always 0 suppose a is having the value 1 then every one will be 1 that means to be a is 1 here input as in a is also to be 1 1 into 1 output will be 1 so whatever be the a and a it is always giving us the output to be as in a is to be there now the last fourth one law that is the and law is to be there fourth law is to be there a and a complement is always zero now see 
suppose the first case we are looking for if suppose a is to be the case where a is to be zero now zero here is the relation a and a complement what is the complement value for this a complement will be when a is zero a complement will be one now here putting these values for a it is zero into a complement that is one this one and zero into one is always zero that a and a complement is going to be zero if we reverse this or the we are putting another value if a is to be one if a is to be one what is the a complement a complement will be definitely zero and here in this case one into zero is always to be zero that means either i am putting the value a is to be zero or a is to be one i am getting the same output result as an zero and that's why the rule is become a and a complement is zero is to be there now <clears throat> implementation of such type of the laws with the logic circuit here it is shown for the third law which is uh, called our third law that is a and a here it is the third law a and a is always to be a is to be there so look at this case where the one and gate is going to be shorted at its input and that's why both the inputs will be same means suppose a is suppose i am putting the value it is to be zero for the both the ends it will be zero zero that means and gate is having the input zero zero at that stage zero zero input for the and gate the output will be definitely zero is to be there the another case where we can say if a is to be one definitely a and b for this gate will be one and in that case the whatever be the output one into one it is always one for the end gate so in this case it is clear that a and a is always a either it is a is to be zero or either a is to be one is to be there so this is what the case the verification of the law a and a is to be a is to be there now the last what the case in this uh, fourth law is to be there a and a complement is always to be zero so here it is to be as an a is to be written here it is to be zero and the inputs are given to the and gate here for the same case we are putting one not gate and that will give us output to be as an one because input is zero is to be there so this zero will come to this stage and this one will come to this stage so this and gate is having the input zero one and as we know when the any of the in uh, when the, all the inputs are high then and then only output is going to be high otherwise it is zero and that's why we have the result that is to be zero if suppose uh, we are putting the values to be as an a is to be one definitely a complement will be zero so the input will be one zero for this and gate and for the any and gate when the input is one zero the output will be definitely zero means either i am putting the a is zero or if i am putting a is going to be one i am getting the same result that is to be as n zero and that's why i can say a and a complement is always to be zero this is what the and laws are to be there similar to this there are or laws using the or operator and or operator is notified with the plus sign here again the a or now we can pronounce here a or zero is equal to a now look at this case again if suppose i am putting the value for this a is to be zero if suppose i have a is to be zero so in that case zero plus zero that is zero if suppose a is one in, that case, in this case if suppose the input uh, a is to be having the value one one or zero is always one so in this case the whatever be the input given or a or zero is to be there output will be a sorry one is to be there that means to be in this case a or zero is always a when i am putting for the values to be zero i am getting the output to be same zero when i am putting the value for a is to be one i am getting the same value for the output is to be there 
that means whatever the input a is to be value i am getting the same output value is to be there and that's why i can say a or zero is always a whatever be the input i am giving the same output i am getting that's why whatever the value of a the same output will be here sixth law or the rule is to be a or one is always one now here in this case if suppose let's see a is supposed to be zero 0 plus 1 it is to be 1 and if suppose this a is having the value 1 1 plus 1 it is always to be as an 1 and that's why the third uh, sixth law is to be a or 1 is always 1 is to be there seventh law a or a is always a suppose a is having the value 0 that means 0 plus 0 it is always 0 the same output a is having the value 0 output is also having the value 0 if suppose a is having the value 1 this is 1 definitely this one will be 1 1 plus 1 that is the 1 is to be there and that's why it is showing you the same results what we are expecting a or a is always a is to be there now the last point where the a or a complement now here if suppose a is to be 0 what will be the a complement it will be definitely one that means here zero plus or a complement means that is uh, uh, a complement will be here one is to be there so one zero plus one it is always to be one <coughs> which is similar to uh, where it is to be uh, uh, giving us to be as an output as a one now let's see the second case if suppose a is 1 definitely a complement will be 0 so in that case 1 or 0 is always 1 is to be there so either a is 0 or either a is 1 the result is 1 that is final so that's why a or a complement is always 1 is to be there so this is uh, what the or rules are to be there and uh, this is somehow implemented through this uh, fourth eighth rule is to be shown here with the diagram and that is a or a complement how it is going to be implemented here or gate is to be used and in this case a is suppose zero the not gate is to be there this will become to be as n one therefore i have the input for this or gate zero one and when the zero one input is to be there output will be 1 is to be there suppose this a is having the value 1 the one input will goes to one end of this or gate and second one input goes to the not gate and here the result will become to be as n 0 and that will be input for the or gate so or gate is having the input 1 0 so 1 or 0 is always to be 1 so this is what the case where a or a complement is always one is to be there so this is what the algebraic laws for the and and the or that is a four plus four eight laws we have taken uh, seen how learn that uh, how these or laws and the uh, and laws are to be very important all these laws we have to implement for the boolean algebra simplification uh, of these uh, boolean algebras are to be there or the equations are to be there so again thank you for the joining this session be at home and be safe thank you